have a good class everyone all right so on to all fours and um, we're just going to do a lot of spinal work to warm up the body and shoulder work as well okay um so come onto your hands and knees welcome back to those that were away last week all right um so just bring your knees right under the hips and hands under the shoulders okay and relax the lower back so don't hold any tension okay sometimes we kind of brace ourselves continuously without realizing how much tension we're holding in our bodies just bring an awareness to your shoulders draw the shoulder blades down away from the ears kind of retract the shoulder blades. so bring the shoulder blades close together just let yourself kind of sink down into your shoulders a little bit with your arms so draw the shoulder blades back together and just bring the chest down towards the floor as i said just bring awareness to the spinal area and relax it completely okay from here guys you're going to take an inhale today and on the exhale i just want you to focus on the hands push into the mat with your hands and just draw your shoulder blades slowly away from each other okay releasing any tension in that shoulder area between the shoulder blades stretching out the muscle that lies between the, the spine and the shoulder blade okay you want to inhale as you bring your shoulder blades together so your arms are staying straight and you're literally drawing the shoulder blades away and then bringing them back together so squeezing them together the rest of your spine stays as is it just follows too inhale as you push into the mat and exhale to sink down with your chest towards the floor right. inhale as you push into the mat feel your shoulder blades going away from each other okay and exhale coming down Inhale to push away. Arms are straight all the time. Exhale to sink down with your chest towards the floor. Your head stays in a neutral position and looking at the back. Inhale to push away. And exhale. We're going to go for one more. Inhale to push away. If anyone's uncertain about exercises, you can speak up during the class and sink back in. Okay. From there, just bring yourself into like a neutral position. So in between the two moves. So not fully pushing into the mat and not fully release. Just halfway between both. Okay. From there, you're going to put your weight into your right hand. Okay, right arm. And what I want you to do is bring your left arm back and your palm facing in towards your thigh. Okay. From here, just feel what's happening automatically with the weight distributed to the right side of your body. Okay. Try and engage your uh, your core a little bit. Draw that belly button to spine. And try as hard as you can to kind of lean slightly more to the left and try and balance out the two areas. Very hard, obviously, because you're going to naturally lean to that right side a little bit more. We're going to inhale as you reach that right arm away, reaching away from you, keeping it in line with the, with the shoulder. From there, as if you're going to tread through water in breaststroke position, I want you to bring your palm facing away now from the midline and then go wide with your arm into a circle position. Your hand will come back facing towards your body. Okay? So we're going to reach that arm long, breathing in, palm away, rotate the shoulder, and then breast stroke that arm through. Good. Inhale, reaching that arm long, and then away with the palm of the hand. Okay. Reaching. And again, bringing awareness to the pelvis where it's at. Try and keep the hips level. Inhale to reach. And keep that standing arm very strong so that the shoulder blade isn't sinking down and that that elbow is not bending. Two more, please. One more. Palm away and bring it down. Place that hand onto the floor and just relax the shoulders. So kind of draw them away and together kind of quickly. Quicker than what we're doing. Just trying to shake out that shoulder that you were just resting on for the last few repetitions. Okay. We're going to squat side. So put your weight into that left arm. Pelvis is neutral. Okay. So just make sure your, your hip isn't kicking out. Okay, hips are completely level. <clears throat> Almost level. Okay, 99% level. Okay, from there, bring the palm facing again in towards your uh, body. You're going to reach that arm long. So sweep your fingers along the floor. Go as high as you can without kind of dipping into your spine. Your spine should stay as it is. Then bring the palm away and go wide with the arm. Nice semicircle. And then reaching long again. Exhale as you make that semicircle. Inhale as you reach. Exhale, palm away. Inhale to reach. Exhale away. Good. For three more. 
And again, just bringing awareness to how high that arm feels when you go up with it. Just don't go so high, like kind of feel your neck coming into play, okay? Or your lower back or mid back. Just go as far as you get to the last one. Okay, placing that arm down. And again, just kind of bringing the shoulders together and away, just relaxing them out. Okay. Okay, and then from there, again, I want you to bring yourselves into like a neutral position with the pelvis. So not fully relaxed where your bum is sticking away, just tuck it ever so slightly, not too much, okay? So bring the pelvis slightly underneath you. Draw that belly button spine and I want a nice flat back. From here, guys, we're gonna bring the knee, left leg up, sorry, to 90 degrees. From there, you're gonna externally rotate the hip and you're gonna circle that leg around and bring it back down in line with your hip, underneath your hip, and then bring it up towards 90. Open up the hip and then bring it back around. We're circling the hip, okay? And again, just kind of bring an awareness to where the pelvis is at. So don't go so wide where you're rotating your whole body. Okay, you only need to circle that leg to where the pelvis feels comfortable and doesn't have to move too much, okay? The spine should be pretty stable throughout as well. A little bit of movement, but not too much either. And keeping those arms strong, okay? Give me two more. One more. Lovely stuff. Just bring the leg up. Hold it, please. Bring the sole of the foot open. So bring the toes down. And just hold this position, pushing towards the ceiling, keeping that nice contraction in the glute, a little bit in the hamstring. I want you to lengthen out that leg and then bring the toes down towards the floor and just gently push into the heel of that leg that's extended back. Okay, getting a little stretch along the back of the calf, Achilles area, and then release it down. We're gonna go the opposite side. I'll turn this way so you can see me for this side, okay? So we still might be sure. Okay, from there, uh, um, again, neutral helps before you begin, a little bit of tension, uh, bring the belly button towards your spine. Bring that other leg up to 90, open it up, externally rotate, and then bringing it around, okay? So nice for the surfing of the hip area, massaging the hip up, okay? Mobilizing that area, doesn't get work too often, okay, in this way. So generally forward and back we go with our hip rather than surfing up and surfing it, okay? So we're gonna go for three more. Two more, just bring an awareness to what's happening in your body when you're doing it. Okay, you don't want to feel any pressure on the spine. Okay, bring that leg to 90, sole of the foot open, bring the toes down. Arms are still strong. Okay, really draw the toes down. A nice contraction again in the glute. Okay, holding. For three, two, one, lengthen that leg out, put your toes down onto the floor and push back into that leg. With your hand, lean back. Okay, don't bend on the leg, just hold it. Okay, lovely stretch in the back of the calf. From there, guys, we're going to go into a cat cow position. I'm going to bring this out to the skirt. Okay, so hands under your shoulders, knees under the hips. Okay, I want you to relax the spine to begin. Okay, we're going to take an inhale here, and on the exhale, we're going to tuck the pelvis and we're going to bring the head down at the same time. So we're going to think with the middle part of your spine, draw that up towards the ceiling, really pushing into the mat, please. Towards the end, I want a little bit of a glute contraction going on. Squeeze the bum a little bit, okay? We're going to stay for an inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to bring the head up and the pelvis away at the same time. Breathing in for an inhale, and then tucking on the exhale. I'm going to bring it back down to a two breath pattern. So we're going to move on the inhale, breathing in as we release. Bring the pelvis and the head up at the same time, please. And then exhale to tuck. Using your abdominal muscles to draw your pelvis in underneath you. Relax your head down. Inhale to release. Exhale to tuck. And just feel what's happening in the spine. I mean, our spines take on a lot of pressure throughout the day. Keep on sleeping. Good to give a little massage like this. Okay, and so we're going for another three. And exhale. 
and two. Eyes up, fine to ceiling, really pushing into the mat, please. Inhale, sorry, as you release. Two, breathe in as you release, sorry. And exhale. Release the lift. And inhale to come on. Exhale. From there, guys, we're going to needle the thread. So basically, come on to the um, your right hand, last one in the warm up. I want you to release your left hand, okay? From there, I want you to bring your left hand in under your right arm. And I want you to follow your hand with your eyes, okay? So you're gonna reach in as far as you can go. Once you get to that locking point, I want you to bring your body weight down towards the floor. So resting that arm onto the floor as much as you can. Obviously bending the opposite hand, so bend the elbow, okay? And come down so you feel a lovely little stretch on the back of the shoulder here. You're opening up the back of the shoulder, getting a lovely stretch along the deltoid and some of the rotator cuff muscles, okay? And just holding this position, breathing into it. And as you exhale, feel your body weight coming down towards the mat. Extra weight coming into that shoulder. As you inhale, feel it lifting up, giving your shoulder a little rest. Exhale, coming down. We're going to inhale to come back up into all four positions. Okay. Get your pelvis back to where it should be at. And we're going to do the other side. Take a breath in. And exhale, reach that arm under and come down with that elbow, the, uh, the one's on the floor, reaching down and bending that elbow so you can get down a little bit lower, okay? Resting that arm onto the floor as much as you can and feel a lovely stretch, as I said before, at the back of the shoulder and the back of the upper arm, okay? Breathing in, feel your shoulder lifting gently off the floor and as you exhale, feel your weight coming closer down, closer to the floor, so pushing down on the floor and getting a deeper stretch. Okay, just give me two more inhales. And exhale. And go a little bit deeper this time. Inhale. And exhale. Good, slowly coming back onto all fours. Okay, let's get cracking. So we're gonna extend, I'm gonna bring my watch over so I can see with the high plank. Extend your left leg back and your right leg back. Okay, high plank. For 30 seconds, guys, and breathing through. So, really pushing the heels back, draw the kneecaps up, squeeze the glutes, draw the belly button to the spine. And as we did in the warm up, really focus on drawing the shoulder blades away from each other, okay? Don't let them sink down, don't let your chest come close to the floor. Nice long spine, so don't be looking under your body. Keep that neck long as well, okay? We're going for five more seconds. Three, two, one. Come into downward dog position, okay? So walk the back hands back if you need to, okay? And bring your legs as close as you want or wider than hip distance, whatever you feel comfortable with. Gonna march the feet. Okay. For four, three, two, one. Back into your high plank feet. And march the feet. For five, four, three, two. One, back into high plank. Holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your feet a little bit apart if they're not. If they're together, bring them apart. Come back into downward dog. From here, you're going to come up onto your tippy toes, okay? And then just like a wave in the sea, you're going to come forward of your body weight and come back into a high plank. Then you're going to push back into downward dog, up onto your tippy toes, come high over your hands, back into high plank, and then back into downward dog. High plank. And back into downward dog. Up onto your tippy toes, coming over your hands, Plank, downward dog, two more. Anyone struggling with their wrist with this one? Just hold the downward dog and come into high plank. Okay, if you find it's too hard on your wrist, don't do the tippy toes. And come back into high plank. Holding for 15 seconds. Breathing. Squeeze the glutes, please. Five, four, three, two. Gently come down onto your knees. Okay. Whew. 
I think I know why my face gets red. It's all this hair. <laughs> it's like, it. okay. <laughs> okay, so coming onto your knees, all right? And we're going to go into press up position. We're not going all the way down. We're just doing half press up. So come close with your hands. I want them under your shoulders. I want the elbows tight. We're going down halfway and back up. Anyone that's beginner at these should have no problem. So you're only going halfway and down. You might think it's easy. Come back to me when you're done. And let me know how you, how you think. Okay. Good. It's all about control. Focus on where your core is at. Focus on your lower back. It shouldn't be dipping down. Be good and strong. Sweep the glutes. Good. A little bonus at the end. Give me five more. Halfway. Four. Halfway down. Good. Last two. Last one. And we're going to hold it down now for halfway, please. Breathing. So just keep your spine long. Good. For five, four, three, two, one. Push it up. Lovely stuff. Onto your hands, and then I'll give your hands a break. I promise. Anyone that's struggling can come onto their fist if they're finding it quite difficult to put their wrists. Okay. For the next one, we're doing some Supermans. All right. So neutral spine. So <clears throat> excuse me. Don't push the bum away. I want you to slightly tuck it. Okay. From there, we're going to extend our left leg nice and long. Point the toes, and reaching our right arm palm with the hand facing in. All right. Going to lower the foot. And the hand down where it meets the floor, and then bring it back up for 10, 9, 8, good. 7, 6, 5. Keep an eye on your pelvis, please, guys, and don't bring your leg too high where you're feeding into your lower back. You want to keep that lower, uh, you want to keep the pelvis neutral. 1, place the hand and arm down, and we're going to swap sides. Extend nice and long, releasing that opposite arm, lower and lift for 10. Good. Four, three, two, one, and come down. Going to shell stretch, guys, before we go on to our side. To bring your big toes together. Anyone that finds this too difficult on their knees, put a pillow under your bum, resting on your heels, and sit back. Okay? Reaching the arms long and then rest your head down, please. And back up. We're going into side plank. All right? On the elbow. So I'm um, full side plank. So I generally bring my top leg forward of my back leg. And we're going to take an inhale, exhale, coming into side plank position, please. Okay, holding. Make sure your hips are level. Just have a little look down and then bring your eye line back straight. Breathing. I'm just holding this position. Three, two, one, gently come down. I want you to rest your legs on top of your so clam position and rest your head down. Okay. Ankles stuck together. Make sure your top hip is over your bottom hip. Okay. Opening the knee, the top knee away from the bottom knee. And then bringing it back down. Again, bringing awareness to that top hip. Place your hand on it. And make sure that it's not rotating back. You only go as far as your pelvis will allow you. And what's right for you. Okay. People generally go for height. But you're defeating the purpose of the exercise here. Okay. So it's all about moving within your range. Okay. Hold on. Give me three more. The last one. Good. Okay. From here, we're going to elevate that leg. So mirroring the bottom leg, keep it bent as it was. But just elevate it. Okay. We're going to lift and lower. Good. In this clam position. Well done.
Okay, control. Don't rush the eccentric so they're coming down. Okay, control coming down as well as on the way up. Okay, just give me two more. One more, okay. And then from there, I want you to stick your ankles together and then lift them off the floor. So we're elevating both feet, okay. Knees are on the, on the floor. We're going to focus on opening that top leg, but keeping the feet lifted at all times. Okay, so the lovely one. Well done. Again, keeping those hips forward. And we're going to go for five more. One, three. Give me one more. A little bit stuff. Place the legs down. We're going to come back into a side plank position. Okay, with bent knees. So bring your feet facing back. Okay, bring that elbow directly underneath you. And coming back into side plank position. Have a little look down and make sure that that line is nice and long, and that your knees aren't too far forward. Okay, we're going to bring our hip down towards the floor and then gently coming back up for 10. Anyone struggling with this, just hold the side plank. Okay, and slow and control, please. Okay, don't want anyone's back still. Four, three, two. Two, one. Okay, coming down. And we're going to lie down nice long line with our body, lifting that top leg, and we're going to circle the leg forward or back. It doesn't really matter. I want control here, so draw that belly button to the spine. Lift, lift in the lower waist. Okay, nice control. Feel a contraction in your glute as that leg goes back. Each time that leg goes back past your hip, feel a little contraction. And really feel that hip working. One more. And the opposite way, please. Mm -hmm. Four, three, two, one. Staying as you are. And then line with your hip and lift and lower. Okay. Done. Five, four, three, two, and one. This is just okay. We're going to swap sides, but coming onto your other side, please, gracefully. And we're going to go into a side plank position. <coughs> Excuse me. So bring that top leg forward and bottom leg back, okay? And just make sure that the hips are forward and in line, okay, and that they're equally at their level, okay? If not, make a little adjustment. Holding, breathing. Staying up, don't let the hips drop. Good. For five, four, three, two, gently come down, okay? Bend the knees, come down into your side or your palm position, please. Okay, make sure the hips are level. So make sure that top hip was right over that bottom hip. I'm going to keep repeating myself, right? Okay, and sometimes you might not be, you might think you're in a certain position, but okay, start with the clamp start. But uh, if I don't keep repeating it, sometimes it just doesn't sink in. And then somebody just go, ah, that's nice. Keep going. All right. Again, bring awareness to that top hip. Two, one. Okay, elevate that top leg, please. Lift and lower. Good. Control coming down. I don't want to come down too quickly. And the leg doesn't fully rest at all. It doesn't come down and rest on your other leg. It stays lifted. Okay, well done. Two. And one, rest your head, make sure you're not um, lifting through the neck. I don't want you to head on um, stress, but make sure you're fully rested, okay? Give your neck a little rest. So ankles are lifted, please. All right, stuck together and opening that top knee away from the bottom knee. That's a really, really good one. Well done. 
really get the details of the fire lily. Okay. Four, three, two, stay with me please, and one, coming down. And then we're going to bend the knees and come into side plank again. All right. So bring the feet back when you're ready. Going up in three, two, one. You can release your arm or place it on your hip, whatever you're comfortable. Gently coming down with your hip towards the floor and pushing back up, using those oblique muscles, abdominal muscles. This you can draw that belly will fine. Good. I want it to round through your spine. So you want to think that your spine is nice and long. Okay, good. Give me one more after this. Good stuff, come down. Nice long line with your body. Okay, lifting that leg to hip height and we're going to circle the leg. And again, I want control. So just test yourself. Bring that arm, top arm towards the ceiling. And see how much control you have through your abdominal region as you circle that leg. Are you wobbling all over the place? If so, draw that belly button spine. Okay. Really activate the abs and go smaller with your circle. See if you can do it. And just one more. And we're going to go back. Going back is harder. Okay. You're kind of going against the grain here. Not used to this movement. We're going backwards. Okay, feel like we're not in control. Keep going for four, three, two, last one. Well done. Okay, holding the leg there. I'm going to lift and lower that leg. Just go to that point where you feel that your pelvis isn't changing too much, that you're dipping into your lower back again. I want this staying nice and strong and straight, okay? Don't feed into the lower back. Give me one more. And relax, Jane. Well done. Okay, coming onto your back, please. Okay, and roll down onto your back. From there, I'm going to get you to take an inhale. And on the exhale, coming into an imprint position, make sure that your head is in a neutral position also. Okay, bring one leg to tabletop and the other. Okay, really keeping that connection with your lower back and the mat. Don't lose it, please. And we're gonna start to lower our right tippy toes down towards the floor softly and gracefully and bring it back. Alternating leg. Good. Hold on. Four. Good. Maybe one more. Hold well on. Keep the legs up. You can imprint your lower back. Bring your legs together slightly. Bring your toes towards you. We're going to slowly, slowly, slowly bring our feet down as if we're going towards the floor. And you want to go as far as you feel that your lower back can maintain it. Bring your tippy toes down then, and then bring your toes up and bring it back to the tabletop. So your, your foot is in a stretch position. Bring your heels down, 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 down. Get to that point, point your toes, and follow through with your toes pointed towards the floor. Maintain imprint position, please. Do not lose it, please. Open your feet again. Bring the heels down. Point the toes. And reach towards the floor. And come back up. Stretch the feet out. Heels towards the floor. Point the toes. Bring them down. Come back up. Open the feet good. Heels down. Point the toes. Back up. If you're cramping, just keep your feet in a stretch position throughout. Point. Back up. Just give me one more. Heels. Point. Back up. Lovely stuff. Hands behind the head, staying in, in a tabletop position with your legs, please. Take a breath in and come into ab prep when you're ready. Have a look at your stomach, make sure it's not pushing out. You want to draw it down. You want to stay down with your abs, not pushing them out, okay? From here, we're going to tip the toes down again. 
staying up in an out breath position, alternating legs. Stay in control. Stay in your out breath. Good. Keep going. Give me two more. Okay. Lower your body down as you breathe in. Exhale to come up for 10. Lower and lift. Nine. Eight. Seven. There, put something under your head if you don't have it under your head, please. Hello. Good. Keep going. That's there, Faye, by the way. And relax down. Bring the knees into your chest, please. Okay. From there, you're going to come up onto your elbows. Okay. Lean back. They should be kind of you know, underneath your shoulders, okay? That's pretty fall in that position. From there, you're going to bring your feet hip distance apart, okay? And just make sure that your pelvis is uh, naturally and um, equally kind of sitting onto the floor, okay? There shouldn't be any unevenness. Make sure your hips are facing forward. Extending the left leg, I want you to open the feet out, so externally rotate the hip again. You're going to lower and lift that leg just as high as your knee on the other side, okay? Keep that same position with the pelvis. Towards you on the way down. As if you're painting your foot. Good. Give me one more after this. Lovely stuff. Okay, swap over. Okay, extend, open up that leg. So you're kind of opening the inner thigh to the ceiling. Lower and lift. So your foot is at about 10 past on the clock. Okay. We're getting some of the adductors in the quad. Um, keep an eye on the other leg that's not falling out too much. You want to keep that in line. And don't let yourself sink too much either. Push through the elbows. One more. Bring that leg in line. Point the toes as you lower. Heel and lift. Point. Toes towards you. Lift. Point. And lift again, pushing into your elbows, push up through the spine. Good. Two. One. Lovely stuff. Place the leg down. Okay. From there, coming onto your back, bring your feet hip distance apart, hands down by your side. Take a breath in, neutral pelvis, and push up towards. Feeling. Okay, I'm going to come up onto our tippy toes and come back down. Bring your feet cut slightly closer, actually, to feel more comfortable doing that. So lift and lower the heel. Keeping your pelvis where it is. So not dropping the bum and not going any higher. Good. Two more, please. One more. So just lower the body down. Bring the soles of the feet together, resting on the outer part of the feet. Okay, opening the leg. Bring your pelvis nice and neutral, please. Hands down by your side. Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, push your hips up. Feel how deep the deeper muscles in the glutes, the inner part of the bone is working. Bring you into this position and the adductor. Lower down. Resting your bum down first, not working through your vertebrae, and then pushing back up. Bring your bum down, 
and push it back. Your legs should be equal as they fall out as well. So one shouldn't be higher than the other. Getting a nice adjustable stretch time. Go on. Give me one more. And come down. Bring your feet back into the center. And Sorry, anyone with anything under the head, please take it out, by the way. Okay, bring one leg to tabletop position, please. And make sure the other one is in line with your hip. Take an inhale. On the exhale, we're going to push into the mat. Go to single leg bridge. Bring your bum down first and push back. Control, coming down. Bring awareness to where the leg wants to go. Wants to roll in or roll out. Don't let it happen. Dig your toes down. Control, come on down. Good. Don't push up too hard. Okay, otherwise you start to feed into your knee and your lower back. Your toes down, please. Last one. Lovely stuff. Stay up. Keep the leg, or extend the leg and just lower and lift that leg for 10, 9, the bum up, 7, good, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, place it down. And then just bring your pelvis onto the mat, bring your knees into your chest before you do the other side. Rock it out, side to side. Lovely. Please feet back down. Bring the other leg into tabletop position. Okay, hands down by your side. Nothing under the head again, pushing the pelvis up. And bringing yourself back there. Good. For four, three. We're going to stay up on the last one, remember? Two, and one more. Okay, standing that leg straight and lower lift that leg for 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place the leg down, bring the pelvis down, knees into the chest. Well done. Okay, from there, nice long line with your body. We're going for rows, please. Make sure you can reach behind you, so just check. If you can't, shimmy down. Tension through the legs, draw the feet towards you, please. Squeeze the glutes a little bit. Draw that belly button down, take an inhale here, and on the exhale, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, and rolling through your vertebrae, coming off the floor, and then reaching down towards your toes. Try line down towards your thigh. Inhale, come to seated position, okay? Exhale, bring your rib cage down towards your pelvis, sink down, and then rolling your vertebrae back onto the mat one at a time. So keep that rounding through the spine as you place your vertebrae down in the good place. Well, obviously, impossible, but visualize that happening. Inhale to reach, squeeze the glutes a little bit, toes towards you, tend to the thighs. Exhale, hands towards the ceiling and peeling up. So reach down over your legs, please. Inhale, come to seated. And exhale, sinking down. Chin to chest. Okay, your chin stays to your chest. So you can feel the mid spine coming down and then release the chin to the chest and release all the way back down. Inhale, lift your ribcage to ceiling. Exhale, come up with your hands to ceiling and coming up slowly and reaching over those legs. Inhale, coming up. Seated, reaching the arms over the legs and exhale, sinking down slowly. Chin to chest. Go up, belly down. Good. And we down as mat. Keep going. I'm going to forward have a quick look. Well done. And exhale to come on up, please. Reaching forward. Don't bounce on the stretch. Inhale and then exhale, rolling away, please. Sink down, chin to chest, please, sir. Down. Good. 
Full control. Lovely. Good. Well done. Inhale. And exhale to come up. Sitting up nice and tall and then reach over. Inhale to reach and exhale to come back. Good. Excellent. Well done. Full control. Well done, Hannah. Well done. Very much improved. Good stuff. Give me two more, everyone. You're all kind of going at different paces, though. I'm just going to watch and keep an eye. Hold the stretch. Don't rush it. Lock out the knees a little bit more, Babs. That's it. There we go. And then slowly come back down. Lovely. Really good. Bring the, yeah, good, 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 good. Give me one more, everyone. Good, Emer. Bring the toes towards you. Good. And then come back down. Good. Hold. And then fully release down. Bring your chin to your chest a little bit more, Babs. Chin to chest. Round through the, the spine a little bit more. Good. Excellent. Well done. And just bring your knees into your chest there, everyone. Good stuff. Lovely. You're getting really good at it. That was good. I wish I could see you in the person. Okay. Um, so bring in, come on to seated position and just sitting off your sit bones a little bit. So the bony part of your backside, come off them. Coming onto your hands, hands, fingers pointing towards your backside and elbows in tight. So don't let the elbows come out, okay? Opening the chest. We're going to lift the bum off the mat, please. Okay, and we're going to come down into a tricep dip and back up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, good, 3, 2, 1. Hold yourselves halfway. Don't let your bum, your bum's just literally hovering off the floor. Okay, hold. Elbows back. Good. Open the chest. Pulsing for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lovely stuff. Reach your arms out in front. Take an inhale and on the exhale, we're going to round through our vertebrae and come onto the floor. Nice and controlled. Lovely stuff. Hands behind the head. Take a breath in and on the exhale, coming into an ab prep position. Bring one leg to tabletop, bring the other leg to meet it. We're going to extend our left leg and we're going to rotate our left armpit towards our right knee. Inhale back to center, bring your leg back, extend the right one and rotate. So you're rotating to the bent knee and extending the opposite leg. Good. Maybe there. Give me two more after this one. One more. Hold here. Lower, lift that leg, please, for 10. Nine, this is not too low. Eight, seven, six, staying rotated. Good. One, bring that leg in, extend the opposite leg, rotate, and just lower just enough where you can feel it. If you go too low, you start to feed into the lower back. So just go down Do you feel it's enough for you. Good. Give me two. One. Bring yourself down, hug your knees to your chest. Good job. We're going to come back onto our fronts, please. And finish on some onto our elbows, wiggle knees in a little while. Okay, so onto the elbows and bring in the left leg to 90 degrees. Okay, open the sole of the foot, you can relax the other foot down if you want, or tuck it, whatever feels comfortable to you. Hands together, prayer like position. We're going to lower lift that leg, don't change the position of your pelvis. Okay, it stays where it is. You don't go so high where it starts to tuck, okay, or right from forward. 
good. Two more. One more. Okay, straighten that leg. We're gonna draw our rainbow over the, the other leg. So bring it over across your other leg, semicircle, and bring it back in line with your hip. Over the other leg, back in line with your hip. So back to starting position. You don't go past your hip on the other leg. Back, okay. Lovely. Two, two, one more. Lovely stuff. Not done there. Hold the leg up at hip height. Tuck the toes and up and down for 10, 9, straight leg, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down, please. Take a second, realign your knees, make sure they're under your hips, okay? And then center yourself with your arms, okay? Bring the other leg to tabletop, nice degrees, sorry, and lower and lift that leg, please. Bent knee, open the sole of the foot, ceiling. Good stuff, well done. Two, one, extend the leg, point the toes, bring it over your other leg, and then bring it back in line. Going a little rainbow over that leg. Five, four, six, three, six, and one. Good. Realign, straighten the leg, toes towards you, lower and lift for 10. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lovely stuff. Okay. Do a little stretch in at the glute. So bring your leg underneath you. Okay. And sit back into that hip if you can. If that's too much for anybody, lie onto your back and bring your knee to your opposite shoulder, okay? Sit back into that hip, please. If you can, rest your head down. Slowly come back up. And we're going to do the opposite side. Find your knees, please, and go or the foot towards your opposite hip, and then slowly come into that stretch position. Take your time. Okay. Again, rounding over the leg if you can, and come down with your head. That's too much to stay on your hands. Okay. Come down slowly. And then slowly come back up, find your knees, please. Okay. From there, we are going to come onto our hands. Okay. I'm going to stay in our dog position. I want you to bring your left foot in front of your right. Okay. And then from there, you're going to come into a plank position. And what will happen is your left, your right hip will open towards the right side of the room. You're going to come back into stay in dog. And then come down and your right hip will open. Into downward dog. Stay in control of the high plank. Don't let your hips sink. Two more. One more. Come back. Bring your feet back and flop over other foot in front. Okay. Comfortable, and then come back into your high plank. Let that hip open. Good. Okay. 
and we're done. And dang, rotation. Go. Two more. One more. Back. And then onto your knees, please, and come into shell stretch deep. Wide with your knees and reach. Coming onto your belly. Okay. And bring your elbows into a nice degree angle, so your hands are forward of your shoulders, okay? Nice long line with the legs, and you slightly bring them apart, okay? Tension through the thighs, so automatically when you draw your knees up, you set them off the floor, so you know that your quads are active, okay? Point the toes if you can, if you're cramping, just stretch them out, okay? From there, you're gonna take an inhale, and on the exhale, squeeze the glutes, eye line is down, lengthen through the spine, and I want you to use your glutes and your back muscles to lift your chest, Slowly up off the floor. Keep your elbows down and your hands down, but don't push into the floor too much, okay? Feel your bum and your back doing the work. Okay, come down slowly. Fully rest your head onto the floor. Take a breath in. Draw the kneecap up slightly. Squeeze the bum. Use those back muscles to really lift you up. Resting kind of on the mid rib cage area, okay? You're hyper hyper mobile, you might be resting on your lower ribs. Okay, if you're finding it too tough to lift yourself up at all, then you can use some pressure into the hands. Come down slowly, please. Inhale and exhale again, lifting yourselves up. Squeeze the glutes before you lift, using those back to draw the shoulders, shoulders down away from your ears. Please feel the lats a little bit active. But inhale to lower. One more of these, and exhale to lift. Lovely stuff. Elevate the arms, okay? Bring the elbows down towards your sides. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, okay? And then bring them forward, reaching them nice and long. Bring the elbows down, squeeze, and reach. Squeeze. If your, if your lower back is sore, just drop down a little bit. Breathe, guys. One more. Place your hands back where they were and slowly rest your head down onto the floor. Bring your hands under your forehead, one hand on top of the other, and rest your forehead onto your hands, okay? Take a breath in here, and on the exhale, I'm going to get you to lift your legs off the floor, keep your head down. We're going to swim the leg, okay, up and down, nice and quick, little kind of flutters of the leg, straight leg, no bend in the knee. Holding, hold, keep them elevated, then we're going to go in and out, okay, keep the head down, little flutters going in and out now, okay. Not big movement. Hold and relax down. Okay, tuck the toes. Come onto your hands. Last press ups, guys. Finish on a high. We're going for 15 reps. Full, full one, all the way down, chest to floor. You can do the full ones off with your knees lifted if you want. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Last exercise, and then we're stretching it out. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everyone. Just lie onto your stomach. We'll just stretch a little bit. Okay, bring your hands back in line with your shoulders. Elbows back. Actually, bring them slightly forward. Elbows back. 
take a breath in and from here I want you to push into the floor with your hands and extend the arms lengthening through the stomach if, you're too, if it's too much in your back just bend the elbows anyone suffering with lower back issues and uh, disc issues don't go so high okay pushing through the hands and breathing into this position slowly come down and go again exhale breathing draw the shoulders down with the ears From there bring your hands onto the floor or the mat tuck your toes and we're going to come into downward dog position but i want you to bring your left foot behind your right foot automatically you should feel a drop with that right heel going deeper into that little stretch you bring your left foot behind your right heel Hold. Bring that left foot onto the mat. Bring your feet under your hips and just walk out your legs. So marking the legs again. And we're going to bring the right foot behind the left knee, heel, and automatically again you feel that drop down with that heel closer to the floor. And slowly come back. Okay, plant your knees, please. Bring your right foot onto the mat. Bring your left leg under your hip. Okay, and we're going to reach down the side of our leg down towards our foot in that general direction. Okay, and get a lovely stretch along the side. the foot planted if you can. Down with that arm, we'll swap over, please. Extend and reaching over. You're reaching towards that leg that's extended. So, from there, just tuck your toes like so and sit onto your heels. Okay. And you know it's not very comfortable, but try and practice this as much as you can. Sit back onto those and really get a lovely stretch on the feet. Okay. From there, bring the arms overhead, reaching inhale. Exhale, come down. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, come down. One more inhale. Then, well done, everybody. Enjoyed. Come in. In that.